gonna show you guys how to make this pirate hat in celebration of the new Pirates of the Caribbean that just came out. I'm starting off with this old hat. This hat I've had since high school. I thought it was so cute, it's just a sun hat. Over time, the ribbon started falling off and then I hot glued it on and you can see where it's like darkened a little bit. And because of that, I don't wear it very much and I'm not super proud of it. But I still think it's really cute, especially if we can turn it into a pirate hat. So I'm gonna take it outside and we can start spray painting it. I'm gonna start off with the black spray paint. like it's already going into the shape of a pirate hat. And it's already dry. I especially like that it's not super perfect. And look, I found Nemo! Anyways, looks like it's about ready to get a second color put on it. I'm gonna start by testing it in a place that I know is going to be covered up. So when I fold up the folds, I'm gonna test it right in between that part. Ooh. I don't know if I like that. It almost looks gold. But we can see how it dries. I look like a pirate to you because I am one. So now that it's all dry, hopefully I don't have black on my forehead. Yep, it's dry, okay. Now that it's all dry, I'm gonna take it and start folding the corners up just like it has on an actual pirate hat. And I'm just gonna shape it into the shape that I think looks the most like that. And then I have some black thread, a needle, that I will be able to stitch it down in the places that I need to to make sure that I give it the right shape. This thread is actually ultra thick. It's like for coats and stuff. Extra dual duty plus. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually taking about two inches away from my original stitch. I'm adding another stitch just to tie it down a little bit more and make it fit more like a pirate hat. I got this hat at Walmart for $3 a long time ago. It was on sale. Doing the same thing on this side. I have one stitch in the middle, one right here, and one over here. And that they're about two inches apart each. That part's done on this side, and now I just need to do two more stitches right here and two more stitches right here. Then our pirate hat is done. Whoa! I found a Why? Hello, pirate boy. I found a chest. Pirate son, you found the treasure. Chocolate coins. Oh my! Ooh! Whoa, you sure did find the treasure. You now you even have a pirate shirt. You're a pirate boy too. So can I have these? One more dinner. After dinner you can have one. Uh, uh, we have to save our treasure uh, at Corbin. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. I feel like this might be the very easiest way to make a real pirate hat. And this hat is so much better than this dollar store hat that just looks very, very cheap. <laughs> but this looks like I'm a real pirate. Arg! Check it out. I think it turned out really great. I'm a true pirate now because I got a pirate hat. Now I've paired it with this white peasant shirt that I actually just got at Walmart and a corset that I got offline off of Amazon. It's just a brown one and it's very simple and hopefully soon I will get around to making a skirt to go along with it to finish off this pirate wench look. 
I love it. I think it turned out really good. The color I'm wearing today is mold wine, and I only have a few of them left. You can go to my Facebook page, Becca's Lipstick Love, if you want to order some of this to go along with your pirate costume. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you click over here, you can watch another pirate tutorial. And if you click over here, you can watch me every day on the beach house. Also, subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you guys next time. I like it. I think it looks pretty good. I look a little bit piratey, I think. <laughs>